What is up guys, and in this video, I'll be talking about the one and only notorious Logitech C920, and I'm gonna talk about it in these unprecedented times in 2020, 2021, and going forward. Who knows what's the future of the world gonna look like? So if you're thinking about getting the Logitech C920, I'm gonna talk about whether or not you should upgrade, especially if you're just using your own laptop webcam. Should you use it? Should you upgrade it? Is it worth the $100? Or should you just invest in a DSLR setup? Stay tuned for this video. My name is Peter, stay tuned. So if you don't know who I am yet, my name is Peter. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to make sure you get future videos on content creation and how do we become a video, better video editor. So if you're watching this video, you probably want to purchase or are thinking about purchasing the Logitech C920, which is an upgrade for your built-in webcam and just like anything built in if you have you're using your built-in webcam from your laptop whether you have an apple or you have in a pc those things are just horrible especially on the position of where you want the actually mic to come out of the audio quality is nearly horrible the video quality for this guy you're actually filming at 1080p up to 24 frames as well as 30 frames per second and I'm actually going to show you guys what it looks like if you actually use the webcam itself the pros the cons so let's get into it so right now I am back lit using my ring light so tip number one of how you make any video quality better is that you want to use some sort of light right so right now, what I'm gonna do is tilt this down here. Let's see how that looks. And it does have a little bit of a focus. So right now, guys, I am using the visual as well as I'll show you an audio sample of what the Logitech C920 looks like. Right now, I'm using my ring light right here. I have a hair light slash clamp light right above my head. And this is what it looks like if I were to use the complete 1080p, the full little sensor of this guy to see how it would look like. And if you can get away with using this in a YouTube video, you probably could for little bits and snippets for the actual talking head portions. And if you're something along the lines of a live streamer, Twitch streamer, and you're looking for just a super simple put it on your laptop and you can stream games. I think it, this look is great, you know. I'll look at this in editing and post-production, but so far, if you have solid lighting, I think the video of this looks pretty damn good. And if you want to compare this, I'll show you guys a bit to my own laptop webcam. Even though this laptop is brand spanking new, the webcam itself, the built-in webcam is horrendous. I'll show you guys what that looks and sounds like. So uh, this is me actually using my laptop's built-in camera with really bad backlight as well as I'm just using the audio itself. And uh, you can be the judge between you choosing something to upgrade like the Logitech C920 or would you rather use your webcam that's already built in and free technically but is it worth the quality and the audio you know you be the judge I am using the Logitech C920 let's see if it focuses up front Ooh, it actually does focus that is a pimple on my nose yes that is you see the side of my eyeball All right it does pulsate a bit but everything is on auto exposure. And from the quality from the screen that it's recording, it looks pretty damn good. Almost comparison to like a DSLR from just from using good lighting. And now I will be using just the audio mic from the Logitech C920. And the reality is it's probably not the best because any built-in audio system, microphone within a webcam, you're probably looking at if you want to upgrade your quality, invest in something along the lines of a Blue Yeti. If you want to have good video and audio for a budget, you're looking at you're spending under, you say, 
you're looking at $300 for a little nice home setup, especially if you're just like working from home and you want to upgrade your Zoom calls, get this guy, that's what I recommend it for. And even if you just want to film some talking head videos and you want to do screencast and you have your talking head bubble in the corner, I think that's also a good alternative. As well as if you really want to start with just filming YouTube videos and you want to do talking head and you want to be a coach, I don't see any reason why not to purchase this guy if you only have $200. It's not about getting a budget entry level DSLR. I, honestly, this quality, guys, tell me if I'm wrong. It does pulsate, but I'm pretty sure you can change the focus in this in the settings. And this filming at 1080p for the size and price, you know, if you're just a budget enthusiast and you don't, you, all you want to do is you're like a teacher and you want to upgrade your videos, then this is what who I would recommend it for, or you just want to make simple YouTube videos. But obviously, obviously, if you are a aspiring videographer, YouTube YouTuber, content creator, that was my mic, oh god. And you definitely want to invest in something along the lines of getting a DSLR, a mirrorless camera. But if you just want to use the C920, as you can see here, it's not that bad in terms of quality if you have decent lighting, right? The cool thing about this guy, right, is, let's see, is that it actually has a clamp or little, your standard uh, tripod mount on the bottom, right? Meaning, if I wanted to, I can put this directly on top of my tripod, and as long as you're near a computer, you can actually film this on top of a tripod mount. But the cool thing of how this is set up as well, the way that it's designed, you can clamp that easily to the top of any laptop, so one size fits all. And now, guys, I am using both videos. God dang it. Still works. <laughs> and now, guys, I am using the video from my Logitech C920 over here, as well as my Nikon Z50, so you can see the comparison between a 4K camera, a mirrorless 20.9 sensor, as well as a tiny, probably a micro sensor in this Logitech C920. And... If it's something that you're looking at, like I said, and overall, that was my overall opinion on the Logitech C920, should you get it? Yes, if you just want to do a quick video, you're a teacher, you are you want to make videos, this is a good starter, right? But if you want to get more serious about it, get my free camera guide, link in the description about exactly what camera gear I recommend. And you're watching a broke vision collective. My name is Peter, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.